we have here verse 34 of the 10th chapter of the Gospel of John. The Jewish adversaries of Jesus have taken up stones to stone him, and Jesus, of course, asked the question, well, what good work did I do that is causing you to take up stones to execute me? And they indicate that it's not a good work, but it's the fact that he had made this statement, I and the Father are one. And, of course, what the Jewish people took that to mean was that he was identifying himself substantively with God, tantamount to calling himself God, and that they took to be blasphemy. And it was on the basis of that that they were taking up stones to stone him. And so Jesus now gives a very interesting response, one of the most uh, intriguing verses that we have in the entire Gospel of John, probably in the New Testament. It's taken from 82, and the uh, statement here, verse 34, apocrythe, this is from apocrinomai, deponent verb. It takes the dative. It uh, means I answer. So this is the third person singular, aorist active indicative, apocrythe, he answered, autois, the dative plural masculine pronoun. Jesus is the subject of the verb, and so Jesus answered them. Uk esten, the negation, esten, it is not, although it's formulated here as a question, so is it not would be the idea. Gegra menon, is it not written? This is a perfect passive participle, nominative, singular, neuter. Is it not written? It's a predicate nominative uh, with the verb esten. So is it not written? Doesn't it stand written? Is the sense of it. In, preposition, takes the dative. In, to, nomo, in the law. So is it not written in the law humon, the genitive plural, second person pronoun, in the law of you, hoti, that, and then quoting now from Psalm 82, verse 6, echo, epa, uh, this is the Septuagint version, I said, theoi, gods, esta, you are. I said, you are gods. The Psalm 82 is the divine counsel uh, psalm in which it begins by saying that God, Yahweh, uh, takes his position, or the, the word that's used there is Elohim. So God takes his place among the Elohim, among the gods. So the singular God takes his place among the gods. And uh, then the uh, sense of the text is that God is passing judgment on them because they have committed malfeasance in the responsibilities that God had assigned to them. And so even though they had been called gods, they were going to die as men. That's really what Psalm 82 says. And so uh, that's this text that we have right here. I said you are gods, then the rest of it, but you will die as men. The uh, <clears throat> two ways that this uh, uh, verse is interpreted depend on how we understand Psalm 82. Uh, many have taken the view that it's simply referring to human judges who were so elevated that they could be called in some uh, modified sense gods, kind of quasi-deities, and that's been a popular view. Uh, probably the better view, the one that's held by uh, scholarly opinion more commonly, is that this is actually the divine council, that these, this is a reference to actual divine beings, angelic beings, you might say, but not precisely angels, that they had been assigned duties, that they had uh, breached those duties, and for that reason God pronounced judgment on them. If that's the view we take of this verse, then of course Jesus is the one who's identifying himself as the one speaking there. And so when Jesus says, I and the Father are one, in a sense, he's putting himself in of the one who is pronouncing that judgment. And that uh, could very well be the way in which these who took uh, stones to stone him would have heard Jesus. Otherwise, it's hard to imagine what would have precipitated such ire on their part if he's simply speaking generally or casually that all of these elevated human beings could be called God. Then it's hard to picture how the uh, religious leaders could have been offended by that. So much more likely is the idea that Jesus is actually inserting himself into the text, as it were, of Isaiah or of uh, Psalm 82 and basically identifying himself as the one who was speaking there, Elohim, who's addressing other Elohim and declaring to them these words of judgment.